All right, I bring to you the trashed home. I went on vacation, and when I got back, my house was filthy. I don't know how someone made such a mess so quickly. I was only gone for a week. Please clean this up for me. Like, fun. Oh, oh, jeez. What happened here? Waters, you. Uh, so thanks for joining me. Uh, I am having a bit of a revitalized love for House Flipper 2 for doing uh, the modded jumps. Again, I know I wish that they would appear in story mode, but whatever. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's not fine. Uh, but here we are. Here we are. It's so fun to do. Uh, real quick, the one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about, since uh, I noticed that there was a couple of mild comments uh, and concerns. I've been doing it for probably over a year, but when I upload videos to YouTube, I do put a lot of the videos that members can watch them right away. The reason why I do that is because I record a large number of videos in a sitting, and then another day I edit a the sheer number of videos in a setting and upload them all um, and to free up my hard drive as well um, so what I do is I schedule them ahead of time if I don't schedule them ahead of time I'll be releasing you know public publishing five videos a day to come out no one can keep track of that who would who would want to um, so per a member's suggestion who became a member before I had any perks I think the only perks I might have had was um, uh, emojis or emotes um, I uh, there was two people who uh, became members before I had anything to really offer them other <laughs> and I love that support but the thing is, is uh, I you know I was like okay they could watch the videos anytime they want but know that every video will eventually go live now most videos go live within three days of me uploading it that's kind of tattletelling on myself of how far behind I am on editing videos. There's the only exception to that is Elder Scrolls Online because um, I had recorded a bunch. I was really enjoying, I am really enjoying the gameplay of Elder Scrolls Online. And uh, I, there, the time before when I uploaded it, there hadn't seemed to be a big interest. So I procrastinated in uploading it. And while there's still not the hugest interest in Elder Scrolls Online on my, for the channel, uh, the people who do watch it, watch it religiously every day. So um, I had such a huge collection of my gameplay for that, that I, I got, I uploaded those and I, or edited them and uploaded them. And there were so many videos uh, that actually the entire month is pretty much covered for, uh, for that game. <laughs> And it just continues to be so because I still play it nearly every day, at least an hour, uh, to get my dailies in. So, there's that. But I, uh, I do not expect, and nor do I really talk that much about it. Um, anyone who wants to become a member to support the channel, to give a little bit of extra, little extra support, well, thank you. I, I greatly appreciate it. I love it. Thank you. You make it easier for me to keep bringing you content. Uh, because, you know, it helps pay some of the bills to free up the time to let me do this. But uh, I don't expect it. I don't require it. Again, every video will eventually become live at some point. Uh, there's no video that will ever just be locked behind a members. Uh, they will. They'll go live. Um, and in fact, not uh, members can't see all videos because there's still some videos that I'm locked behind an embargo. So... Uh, you know, they have to wait just like you. <laughs> so, again, it's not a requirement. I don't, I don't expect it. I love it when it happens, but I, I just love the support. I just love the fact that there's people here who just want to watch me. Uh, that was something that I, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, it was like a tiny little hobby to pass the pandemic became something a little bit more. And I love that. And I love that you guys are here to watch it and watch me and listen to me ramble about nonsensical things. <laughs> that's, that's 
That's great. <laughs> oh, you guys keep me company and keep me sane. And you also are my encouragement to play games that uh, I I want to play, but I I just I have a hard time making the time for it. Or, um, you know, I I I am definitely one of those people who I find what I like to play, and I tend to stick with that because it's what I know. Uh, such as like Elder Scrolls Online and House Flipper. Um, I keep playing those games and I very, before uh, doing recording for YouTube, uh, I wouldn't go outside my bubble because, you know, why Why would I? I had no encouragement to. So the fact that you guys are here to watch, watch me uh, helps me want to bring you content of other games. And it also, I love supporting indie devs. Uh, I, indie devs make some of the best games. Uh, I well actually let me rephrase that they make the best games and I want to give them the support because it is hard to be a game developer uh, and they're not only because financially there's that that issue too it's really hard to make money off of you know selling games unless you go ex you know quite viral um, it's just it's a hard hard life and the other thing too is there's another aspect when you are creating something like a game or art or anything that you were showing to the public, you are putting a piece of your soul into that. And and you should. That's part of creating. And when you do that, you, you leave yourself quite vulnerable to criticism and to feedback that you might not be ready for. And the hardest part when you're creating something is just someone not seeing it at all. Oh, that oh, that hurts too. Like it's not even that it's disliked or liked. It's just that they don't see it, and that hurts. Um, and so I want to always try to do my best to let and the little guy be seen, um, even if it's on my tiny channel. Um, I will try my best. So. That that is the whole point of of how my channel evolved to become into that. But anyway, that's my little rambling about memberships. Not a requirement. Everyone will eventually see it. I promise. And what happened to this guy's house? <laughs> so busy rambling about that. I guess I really wasn't paying attention. Looks like there's an upstairs. Was it a raccoon? Did a raccoon do it? Like a storm came through or something. I am greatly enjoying uh, player-made maps, but a little behind the scenes. Uh, for every map you see, I probably played, started playing uh, two. Uh, I think is the the. Uh, oh, it could be three too. Um, of, of maps that you don't see because I didn't play well. And I will never call out names. I won't show them. Uh, that's not very nice of me because it's a personal opinion. It's not based on fact. Uh, so you won't always see them, but there is, uh, if you're ever wondering, like, what is she doing? Uh, it's because something didn't play well. One of the common problems is they don't give you enough money to renovate. Which, when I saw that 20000 on the top corner, I was like, oh, please don't be that. It doesn't look like we're really buying anything. It looks like we're mostly just cleaning up this poor guy's place. Like, I got hit by something. Uh, lots of lots of games coming this week. I don't know when you guys will actually see this video. Uh, I think it's soonish. Uh, anyway, we have Critter Cove, which will be released on the 10th. And I will be playing that and having that released. I've actually already played it. Uh, and it's scheduled to be released on the 10th, which is very, very soon. Is its release date. I really like it. It's kind of a, a mashup of... Uh, my time at sand or my my time series uh, a little bit of mashup of that uh, your typical farming ex exploration game very cute it's very adorable i like it uh, and i'll be playing more of that uh, i will be playing a cute game called copycat 
That releases on the uh, 15th, it looks like. Uh, the embargo sits until the 17th, so you're going to get it a few days after release. Uh, but that is, we play as an adorable cat who uh, is uh, a stray cat that was rescued and put into a shelter. And then a little old lady comes by and adopts us. And we're not quite exactly happy to be off the streets. And it turns out the little old lady, we look identical to a cat that she, that was lost to the streets. And she got us to replace that cat. But she's not quite happy with us because we are not the same cat. We're a street cat. And we're a little crazy. We're a little spicy. Anyway, it's a very sweet game. Uh, very sad in some ways. And uh, yeah, I look forward to you guys seeing that. Uh, speaking of cats, we have hidden cats in a zoo. If you're familiar with me playing the hidden cat games, it's usually cat games that are kind of either uh, a mono-colored series, and you have to find the cats. Uh, those are those are fun. But oh, these ones are in a zoo. So I'll bring that to you guys in days. Uh, Demolish and build. Uh, I haven't played it yet. We played a, a Next Fest version of it a couple Next Fest ago. And that's coming out on the 11th. I gotta get to playing that real soon. Uh, I lost track of time on that one. And let's see, we have Animal Shelter 2, the prologue. It's player co-op, uh, which I don't really do much for co-op games, especially for like a game like that. I'm a little confused on that, but but, but I'm not gonna knock it. But we're gonna give that a try. Uh, the devs gave us the key a few days early. Uh, a game called Star Diver, which releases on the 12th. Uh, it got a, a, a sense of No Man's Sky to it, and it takes place, it looks like a water, a water planet, which seemed fascinating to me. What else? Uh, Pet Lands, a demo that I'm going to be bringing you guys in a few days. Which, speaking of demos, October's Next Fest, our fall 2024 Next Fest, uh, is in the middle of October, I believe the second week of October, and you're going to start to see demos rolling out uh, as game devs try to get their demos out pretty quick uh, to meet that timeline. So if you, if you you will start to see quite a few demos popping up on the channel. A next fest is really big for me. Um, I love playing demos and I love seeing what is coming in the future, and I love sharing that with you guys. And you guys seem to really love the demos as well, so. Um, it's something I'm kind of known for, if you didn't know. Um, I think that's I think that's my list. Uh, oh, Cyber Manhunt 2 is a game that's coming out. Um, we actually played the first one. I think I only did a quick play of that one. I think you guys saw the whole gameplay. But the dev was kind enough to give me a key for the second version uh, to show you guys that. Ooh. Um, it has a bit, if you watch the game, uh, The Operator, it has a bit of a feel of that. We're sitting in an office kind of playing as a, a 911 operator and trying to piece together things. So, yeah, I think uh, if I recall right, I think it's got a bit of a cyberpunk feel to it, too. So, yeah, I look forward to bringing you guys those games. So did, <laughs> did the person who this, did this, you make it in uh, sandbox mode, and then you, when you chuck it to the ground, it, uh, it just goes everywhere. Kind of funny. that 
many stains. You know. All right, well, let's grab this and get rid of this. compiling a small list of horror games to bring you guys. I can't on the channel, strangely enough, I can't play much of real horror. One, it's not my favorite gameplay. Um, I prefer watching it over playing it. But two, I've made the channel like YouTube uh, uh, knows my channel as being a cozy cozy game. So it gets really cranky when I do something out of the norm. That includes... Playing a scary, scary game. This spot. Oh, I can't believe and I'm gonna check it out later. Get through this one. Dead. Gotta be squatters, right? That's gotta be the story behind this. me to sell these two. Not that, but this. And this. And the light can stay. But I do need.
going to be pretty plain, right? Because I don't think we're decorating. I didn't see any prompts for decorating, so I think we're just cleaning, which is probably why we have such a low budget. Especially since we're sitting at two, almost three stars. I'm going to guess no place. Some garbage, where would I be? In the bushes. I would be in the bushes. This is one way to get me to use my scanner. I'm terrible at using the scanner. be on the roof. Depends on how the map maker threw the
Seven in this entryway. Seven stains, and I don't even see one. So what a stinky suspicion is, there's like a brush that you can paint when you are placing down the dirt and the garbage and whatnot. I have a feeling it's like sunk into the walls, and if it is, there's nothing I can do about it. I'll go through and try to clean as best as I can, but I'm not gonna dress over it too much. All in all, it was a pretty simple. Been too much time on. I'm bugged that there's four here, but I can't. Poster. Even in making me. <laughs> yeah, so you saw it was in the furniture. Did the, they did the brush thing. Fine. That means I'm not gonna get them all. I think I'm done. I'm done. Good enough. Uh, let's go check upstairs one more time. Is it you, Ducky? The culprit? Just checking.
Why isn't this cleaning? You're supposed to be. Alright. This is just a big one. There we go. We got our three star. I'm good. I'm good. Alright. <laughs> Let's finish this one up. No before or afters for that one. All right, guys, thanks so much for keeping me company, and I'll be back soon with another video.